All right, good morning everyone, it's Leanne. It's February the 10th, and I'm just looking across this little wetland there uh, on the other side of it, just beyond that ridge. It's a really beautiful structure that I've been watching for a couple of years now, and I'll attach pictures to this video. As I was filming the opening part of this video, my iPhone suddenly froze and a strange image appeared on the screen. It lasted for about 15 seconds. It looked almost exactly like this, but with different colors. It was mostly green, blue, and yellow. Did you see that? I didn't touch anything on my camera. And the screen just went all wonky. It had these thin rectangular bars of green and yellow and blue, or I... I didn't see the colors that's happened before that's happened before at another TP structure that I videoed um, I think it was called reduce reuse and rebuild or something like that where there was an electronic anomaly that happened isn't that amazing and I just hit the stop button and it stopped and so I've just turned it back on so this is here and I've made some videos of this beauty before and it's still standing nice and strongly. There have been a few big pieces of wood that's been moved, but check this out. This is new. <laughs> There's a little green beer bottle shoved up in there. And it would be tricky to even uh, reach up and over and, and place that where that is. Um, but this is just something that I know lots of us find. These quirky little uh, glass placements or, you know, colorful pieces of, uh, you know, garbage or debris or recycling that are sometimes added to these these creations now uh, and and it's funny I've come across quite a few beer cans and beer bottles since my time exploring these these stick creations and um, I know other people have too so in just the most random of places so for what it's worth now I'm gonna go check down the path and see if there's anything else that's new all right that was really cool that just happened back there thanks folks I'd like to show you one more thing before I go down the trail, and it is over here. Now, I made a video once where I, I found what looked like a bunch of drying racks strewn up between these trees here. And look here, this is a new upright. This is just a random piece of wood stood up against this live tree. And check this out, this branch right here. Okay, it's snapped. And it's just sitting right there. And it comes over, and it's weaved through there, and it's sitting on this branch. Now, oh, and look here, there's one right there. Isn't that amazing? Snapped on one end, snapped on the other, and the lighting is really poor, I'm sorry. And that's worse. Um, but I keep finding these, oh, I see another one. These drying racks through here, look here. And this is like another, oh, look, there's a bunch. Okay, here, there's one. Just sat right there, sitting right there, and barely tucked on to that branch right there. Here's one comes up, crosses at the same place, but look, this goes, oh, all the way over there. Check that out, whoa. That's a long one. I'm following this in real time. And I saw another one right here. There's the end, broken. It goes, and it's just hanging right there. Oh, and here's another one. There's an end, goes on the other side, and it's just sitting right there. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So these are new drying racks in the same area that I found a bunch of others, I think that was two summers ago. And it was right here. And I talk about Mike Patterson and how he's found, you know, he was gifted some dolls woven out of grasses because there was also some ties around some of those drying racks that used some grasses. It wasn't offering any support. It was just kind of wound around and around. So is that, oh, and look, there's a little lean right there. I'm gonna break my neck if I slip here. And there's a lean right there. Isn't that something? All right, I'm gonna keep checking this out. Thanks, folks. All right, I just found a couple more right next to the structure. So there's a broken end of a stick and it comes across and it's just balancing right there on this branch sticking out from that live tree. And then tucked under there, again, snapped end. And then over here, check this out. 
So this is a large branch. You can see we're attached to the tree and all the branches have been taken off and that's just resting on this live branch of this tree. I think these are um, spruces. All right, so that didn't fall like that. If you look up, I mean, all the branches are so small on this tree compared to that. Oh wow, so check this out folks. This is amazing. This is new. This hasn't been here before. And the lighting is really poor. I'm sorry. I'm just standing here trying to make sense of what I'm looking at. It's like a round room. And I found, oh, and there's another big branch in between those two trees. Look at that. Whoa. I found something like this similar uh, something similar to this a couple years ago behind me about 100 meters and I made a video actually a couple of videos it just didn't do it justice because the lighting was off now what's going on here so there's a large branch in between these two trees just sitting on a small branch there and that's actually sitting on another branch coming this way and there's some broken sticks that are just lined up creating a sense of wall now over here whoa there's all these little branches just in between. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like six or seven sides of this, this creation. Uh, a couple branches stood up there. I'm sorry the lighting is so poor. Uh, all these branches are snapped and that's creating a bit of a wall. And look at this roof. So here's some branches. That, this branch is sitting on this little branch right here and there's a couple other sticks leaning up against it there's an upside down V of that branch right there branches stood up I wonder if this is gonna be filled in there's a big stick there's a broken branch right there and look there's a roof there's a roof so there's a, a living tree and okay, here's one thing that I have seen before there's a tie used and I know some people will look at that and say, no way, throw it out, throw out the possibility that anything other than human beings could have made this. But I have found lots of things used to tie in some structures over the years, grasses, um, reeds. And I know others too, and I've always said that if they have the intelligence and the capability to create, to imagine, envision, collect, and create, build, balance these structures, they can learn how to tie a knot and hold something together. I'm going to step inside here. Okay, so here's like a roof. Look, there's another horizontal, just like I've been finding. One, two, oh, there's, okay, lots of little branches here just crisscrossed as this roof. That's an interesting piece of fabric. Just tied on for no reason. Okay, look at that. Nice yank. It doesn't offer, like if a human wanted to make a shelter and hide, well this is a real waste of energy and time because you can see it's not offering any protection from the elements or visual um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, well, it doesn't create any any uh, camouflage for you. Look here, these are a bunch of grasses that have been used. There's a, a field not too far from here under a, a power line. And there's some reeds from the wetland. Maybe that's from the wetland too. Isn't this something? Yeah, this doesn't seem to make any sense of why somebody would build this. There's no hunting here, no camping, no fires. Just typical of the places I go to. This trail isn't even marked where I am right now. And this is here. Isn't this bizarre? It, it it matches so, or dovetails so nicely into the other horizontals I was just finding over by the bigger teepee structure. Oh, there's two branches. Look, two more drying racks. One and two. I don't want to slip on this hard ice. Look at that big one. Whoa, yeah. Again, what's the purpose? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I bet there's a lot more that I'm missing here. I bet 
there's a lot more. So, with that said, folks, I'm gonna turn this off before I lose batteries. And I'm gonna to try to come back when the lighting is a bit better. But can you see? It's like a, it's like a room. But really bizarre. Huh. The drying racks room. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. I'll keep looking around.